Gravitational devices are the natural result of understanding gravity at a deeper level. Just like in the early 1900s, when we started to understand magnetism and electric field a little better, we started to engineer devices that could control the electromagnetic field and produce electricity, produce communication, and most of the devices we have today is the result of this discovery of how to control electromagnetic fields. The same can occur with our deeper understanding of what is gravity and how to control it. We can make devices that controls the gravitational field in a region of space so that instead of being attracted to the surface of the planet, we are actually lifting up or being attracted away from the planet. Imagine a device that makes a verticular structure in, in the structure of the quantum vacuum that displace the gradient of that vortex ahead of the ship. The ship would fall into that vortex ahead of itself and move away from the surface of the planet or away in any direction we want. Gravity control is the result of a very clear path that has been defined now as we understand the vacuum fluctuation at a deeper level and understand how mass is produced. We think of gravity as the result of mass curving space-time. If we realize that mass is the result of space-time spinning, we can couple to space-time and spin it. Let's think of it maybe with a plasma, high-energy plasma, spinning at velocities that are high percentage of the speed of light and actually curve space-time and control its curvature to accelerate a ship in any direction we want. Now, all of a sudden, we are using the energy of space-time to curve itself in the direction we want. So the energy required to do the job is actually contained in the dynamics of the technology that you are building. So it becomes very plausible that we could achieve this in the next decade. 